Federal, state, and local investigators are combining forces to find who's responsible for that Moore County substation attack. WRL investigates Colin Browder has been talking to a former FBI special agent. This is I've been interesting to, interested to hear this, Colin, about kind of some of the things that are happening behind the scenes right now with this investigation. Right, Dan and De Deborah. You know, forensic evidence in this case is critical. Is there video? What kinds of prints were left behind? What's the possible witness chatter right now? Well, this former assistant director of the FBI tells me he expects this combined law enforcement response will soon turn up who did it. This was the nightmare that we envisioned after 9-11. As an attorney and former special agent in charge of North Carolina's FBI, Chris Wecker believes investigators are closing in on whoever shot up Moore County substations, shutting off power to thousands. The forensic aspect of this is a little bit complex and that's where the FBI brings a lot to the table. They have a traveling evidence response team out of Charlotte. He says federal, state, and local teams are scouring any surveillance video and running down clues from prints to shell casings and bullet fragments. And I'm sure they're searching through firearms records that, you know, as we speak. You actually can recover fingerprints from, uh, from shell casings because, you know, they're loaded in by hand. Tire tracks are very important. You can track it. You can get the make and model just from the tire tracks. Swecker expects they're also tracking potential witnesses and suspects in person and through social media posts. There's some history there. There are some anti-government groups. There are some militia groups. There's there, there's there's different types of groups. So they'll be looking for group activity, if you will. Is this a conspiracy or was is this a one-off situation? And Zwecker says that is a key question. Was this an act of vandalism or some politically motivated act of domestic terrorism? We're going to explore the legal ramifications of that motivation coming up in our news tonight at 6 Dan. Yeah, you got to think between the federal resources and then just the local knowledge that our local folks have about the people in this area. Hopefully they find out something soon. Colin Browder reporting in the studio. Thanks, Colin.